Welcome to the Handicap on Black in America. I'm your host, Ramon Rome. It's being brought to you by Concerned Citizens Alliance, where our mission is to advocate and protect citizens through information, education, economic empowerment, and action. And our motto is, local politics makes a difference. The title of this uh, video is, DC crime bill offers money instead of jobs to criminals. That's what I said, they're offering money to criminals instead of jobs. In fact, only 50. As if Washington DC only have 50 criminals. They forgot about all those, the, all those crooks that are in um, the White House as well as the, the state of representatives as well as the Senate. That being said, um, they're modeling this after a program that happened in California, that they took place in California. In California, they not only offer them money, but they offer, they also offer them trips outside of California. Now, this comes to a larger problem, uh, fam, is that, and, and the money is only $9,000. I mean, you're giving them, paying them $9,000 a year not to commit crimes in this program. And this program gives them education. Let me tell you, let's, 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 let's just be real. What they, what they need is a job. Or uh, not job opportunities, they need a job. Give them a job, give them a good paying job. I'm not talking about a minimum wage job, I'm talking about a good job, give them a train, give them, get them to uh, a, a, an on the job training, not a job training program. Because job training programs, they don't really, they're failures. You, the, the amount of people that get a job out of a job training program is like maybe 10%. They walk out there without, with a, I got a, I got a certificate, but no job. Give them on the job training, be it carpentry, be it auto mechanics, give them job training program. There, there's, there's so many opportunities out there to, as far as creating jobs for these these young men, and particularly largely, large percentage of them are young um, African American men. But to give them money not to commit crime, and then on top of that, they're only offering, but it says, the article says, 50 individuals a year. What's that? I mean, people like DC is one of the major cities, as a matter of fact, one of the crime riddled cities, and you're only going to offer 50 of them? What is it going to be a lottery pick? <laughs> you know? I mean, is it going to be a lottery saying that who's going to get $9,000 a year? Let me tell you something. They can make $9,000 in a few days on selling drugs. Now, I'm not, I am not advocating somebody selling drugs, but you, got, you give them a choice between $9,000 and not committing a crime or I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing to hustle to get more than $9,000. $9,000 is, not, is not, not much money at all, and these programs are not giving those guys a job. That's what we need. Now we have a problem here in South Carolina, in, in North Charleston, where our violent crime is going, is going up and there's an, issue, there's an issue about the violence going on in North Charleston. Of course, we just re-elected the racist mayor, Keith Summy, to another four years. Matter of fact, 1,400 blacks voted for him. That's another video. Um, but the fact is, is that they don't need programs. What they need is a job. What they need is a contract for business to operate. So this, these, these it, I don't understand how in the world, whoever elected a mayor in Washington, D.C. Um, or in California, I believe, can't remember what city it is, it's um, in Richmond, California, what are you thinking? Create jobs. Give them jobs. That's what these guys need. Look, when we were running the campaign, when I was running the campaign for John, the elect John Singletary as mayor, um, we were in a, one of the roughest neighborhoods in the city. And um, I asked the young man, I said, yo, brother, would you rather sell weed or would you rather take a job making 45000 a year? Brother, I'll take the job making $45,000 a year. It's a no-brainer. Now, what are they paying the average employee at Boeing? About $45,000 a year. Well, 
trained them. Boeing could have trained those young men from getting them out of the out of the lifestyle that they're living and into a lifestyle to where they can raise a family. But let me say this before I close. That is not what they want to do. They want to keep crime. They want to keep continue having a reason to lock our young black men up. And so what better way is to not give them those opportunities? What better way is to keep them? 50 people in Sacramento, in, in Richmond, um, uh, California is 68. And, uh, and, and add, I believe they're currently enrolling another 24. Whoopie doo. There are 40, I think it's 42 million African Americans that live in, in this country. So, you, so it's like a lottery. And a lottery, you get $9,000 and a trip out of town. Hmm. Well, they're getting the trips out of town anyway because they're going to jail because of the fact that they don't have they, they don't have food to eat. They don't have clothes on their back, so they have to hustle to do whatever they can. And some of that stuff may be illegal. It will is going to be illegal, and that puts them back in jail or puts them incarcerated. The best way of getting of stopping crime is give them opportunities. Most of the 90%, I may be wrong on the percentage, 90% of these violent crimes have to do with money or property. Same thing, money or property. Either somebody's property because he don't have enough money, so he wants to take your property. That's what it involves with. So when you, when you, when they don't have, look, Jay-Z ain't going around knocking people off. At least not that I know. Neither is Puff Daddy. Neither is Michael Jackson or Michael Jordan, rather. They're not going on like they're rich people. They don't have to do that. Well, give them opportunity. Not saying that they're, every black person should be uh, a, a, a multi-billionaire, but give them a job so they can raise their family. Now, this is the reason why I call this program Handicapped, Born Black in America. Because let me tell you something. It is rough being a black man in these United States. States. I like when, what uh, what they call America K K K K America. This has been another edition of Handicap Born Black in America. Please like, share this video, and until the next time, my time is up.